I'm just getting it might be the soul of your maternal grandmother. Wow, okay. Hello, I'm Tigger and I'm a nine and a half years old Mimi Schnauzer. I'm a girl and I love to sleep and snore. Good girl. Hi, Tigger. Nice to meet you. Okay, I'm just gonna read you, okay? I asked for her consent first. So I think generally she's a very, very confident and self-assured dog. So she has this very protective maternal kind of a vibe to her. So she's my first dog and I got her back like a day before Star Wars when we are having a rehearsal. So I got her from the pet shop and I bring home mm. without telling my mom. Of course my mom doesn't look happy at all. Then I just put a box in the main doorstep. Oh. Help me take care. Then I rush for my rehearsal. <laughs> yeah, that's how I escape from her nagging all this. Oh, that's very smart of you. Yeah, then after that, uh, I think my mom like started to get used to her and my mom like falling in love with the dog. Yeah, they, they have a very strong bond. That's why she, I think she would care about your mom quite a bit. So like, uh, it's been about almost nine and a half years. Like anything she want to say to me. Mm. It's so funny because she feels like she picked you as her owner instead of maybe it's you making that choice. And I don't know if there's any relationship between her and your maternal grandmother. I'm just guessing it might be the soul of your maternal grandmother that, yeah, that wanted to like stay and be around for your mum. I should go back and ask my mum. Oh, it's quite interesting, yeah. yeah. First, I've never really asked my mum like, hey, how, how, how is it like uh, staying with Tigger? They have a very close relationship. Like, even though she's super like sticky and very near me, right? Like, I feel like she feels tighter with your mum. Do you have a relationship with your maternal grandmother? Actually, my <clears throat> maternal grandmother passed on when I even when I was really small. So I don't really have much like memory or collection mm. from, from her. I wonder if that's why like she's so sticky with you. Finally get to build a relationship. Is there anything that she dislikes? There's a neighbor that always walks past, it's an uncle. Um, I don't know if he's very noisy or his footsteps are just very loud. Mm. Just a noisy neighbor. Every time he walks past, she's like, mm. and I think he smells of um, a bit of smoke. Wow. That's something she, she picks up, then she's like, eh. Okay. And what's the one thing that she needs the most? It's so funny because the, the words that keep coming to my head is soon soon lie. It's just like everything, like everything just to be smooth. Soon, soon. Yeah, soon soon. Okay. Everything soon soon. And that's all she wants, like for everyone at home. <laughs> oh, she's just looking at you lovingly. Yeah, I just love the way she look at me. Like, eyes are full so of love. So much love. So much love, yes. And she can look at me whole day. Oh. I love you when I'm reading my scripts, doing my homework, and she's just beside, yeah, just near my feet. <laughs> and she likes those like physical contact. Yeah, she, you like? <laughs> you like? <laughs> I love you, she just said. So sorry. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have any like other like lingering thoughts or questions you wish to share. I just want her to be healthy for as long as possible Aww. and I just want her to know that she's my one and only dog. Even in the future, I'm going to get another dog, uh, she'll always be remembered and she holds a very important place in my heart. She knows. <laughs> she's like, I know I do such a good job in this lifetime. Yay. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed the reading. <laughs>